I'm trying to drink more water today, and yes, I have a Selena cup. Y'all can keep your Stanley cups. I have my Selena cup, and I am so happy with it. <laughs> If you don't know and you're from Texas and you want one of those, look for an all subs. That's normally where we find them. Anyways, I just got in an order from Ulta and I'm really excited to try out some of these products. I tried to go with like viral finds, but I do have a couple other things that I came across online and I'm really excited to try out. So let's just get ready. Ah, look what I got. This was actually sent to me by a skincare brand called Versed. I think I'm gonna go in first with this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, and then I'll go in with the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. The directions say to pat this into your skin with your fingers. I am actually gonna be using Real Techniques today because I came across these two brushes. This one is the two-in-one brush for your face. It has a wide foundation and a slanted concealer on the other side. And then this one is the brow styling set. I liked that this had the spatula one. I think these were buy one, get one half off on Ulta. I've been wanting to try out the technique where you put your contour and liquid blush underneath Underneath your foundation. I forget what makeup artist it is, but it's the makeup artist that's been doing Kylie Jenner and Hailey Bieber's makeup. And supposedly it makes it look like a soft, really blended, glowy look. This is the color shade five medium tan. That gave a nice glowy coverage. And then I got the Milani Conceal and Perfect Liquid Contour in the color 03 Toffee. Apparently this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've been trying to put my contour up a little bit higher. This one wasn't a viral find, but I love Makeup Revolution and I like that this was a two-in-one. I can just take it with me on the go. Oops, I blended it with the <laughs> bronzer. That's okay. It's all gonna get blended anyways. Actually, that's a really pretty bright pink color. And then I did wanna just add some highlight here. Also, I picked up this Ulta Beauty Under Eye Brightener like a color corrector and my dark circles have been so dark lately. Okay, that blended pretty nicely. I try to concentrate on the bronzer first. That actually did blend really quickly and I like the blush. Wow. It's like a push down protector. Ah. Ah. <sighs> I'm losing everything. That was definitely too much contour on the nose, but it's okay. I'm gonna put foundation over top. Before foundation, I'm gonna spray some of this Milani Make It Last. This is supposed to be a Charlotte Tilbury dupe and it actually does smell really nice, which the Charlotte Tilbury one does as well. This Thank Me Later is really good setting spray as well. If you're not into a scented spray, I would recommend this one. I got that one on Amazon. I'm gonna do my brows and I've been using this like soap brow stuff from Amazon. It's like a two pack for $7. I'm also gonna spray this with the Make It Last. I'm gonna use the brow brush that came with the little spatula on the end. I do do my own brow lifts here at home with just a kit that I got on Amazon. Seriously, it makes it so much easier, especially like day to day when you're only doing 10 minute makeup. It's totally worth the time and it really only takes me like 20 minutes total but this stuff does take a minute to dry down. So I just kind of keep brushing it up as it starts to set. And now I'm gonna just stick it down to my face. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with an affordable foundation. I've been loving this infallible foundation. <laughs> that didn't totally make my contour disappear, did it? Cause I feel like it did. Maybe I should have done my contour darker. I do still have that eye brightening stuff, so I'm just gonna blend it out. 
Now I'm just using this Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. While that dries down a little bit, I'm going to go in with the NYX Brow Tint Pen. This is also viral on TikTok, but I've been using it for a while and I really enjoy it. It does live up to the hype. I like to just draw the bottom of my brow in first and deepen up my tail and then just come back around. This is how my face looks with everything blended out. I kind of feel like the foundation washed away the cream colors that I put underneath it, but I'm gonna finish out the rest of my face and we'll come back and see how it looks. It kind of did make a difference. My face makeup looks a lot more light and natural and blended, I feel like, with that technique. I did end up getting this color Tease from Anastasia, but the lip liner was too light, so I went over it with this BFF2 color, and then I put the lipstick right in the middle. I'm gonna top it off with Morphe Sweet Tea. What are you doing? Want some lip gloss? <laughs> Here you go. Beautiful. You love it? Yeah, where we? Mac your lips like this. Good job. You want some blush? Here you go. Little bit blushies. <laughs> so pretty. I definitely feel like that sweet tea lip gloss toned it down a little, and it's a really nice nude actually when I mixed it with a darker lip liner. So I'm just gonna spray my face again. I almost forgot highlight. This is the Flower Beauty palette, shimmer and strobe. I think I'm gonna go with the middle champagne color. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight. I like that this brush is a straight line so I can just put it down the bridge of my nose. The other few things that I didn't use, I got some of these makeup removing pads because the ones that I have from Amazon are starting to get rough. This one said that they're citrus infused. I did also get another Flower Beauty. This is the Gel Crush Lip and Cheek Cream Blush. And the color is Citrus Crush. I also got a Pixi On The Go Bronze Tinted Moisture Stick. This Grande Brow 2-in-1. It's a tinted gel plus brow enhancing serum. I almost forgot to try out this white NYX Jumbo Liner. We're doing this white waterline again, and honestly, I kinda like it. What do we think? I should've applied it before I did mascara because it's like kind of on my bottom lashes, but I don't know. The white might be too bright, you know? Moving on to hair, I am going to film this TikTok, but I figured you would wanna see it here on YouTube as well. So let's try out the three wands. I do want to prep my hair first though, cause it's kind of crazy. I'm just doing a little bit of dry shampoo, which I'm running out of. And I have this on subscription on Amazon and they're all sold out. So that really sucks. But I do have like six cans of dry shampoo I need to use up. I just love the way that smells. I'm also gonna spray some heat protectant in it. This is the HSI one. I got this on Amazon. It has a ton of really good reviews. Brush it through real quick. I'm starting off with the smallest barrel. I wanna say this is a half an inch size. So we are gonna take the end and just wrap it. That's a little tight. Loosen it up. Ooh. It did come with these clips and a little heat proof glove, which is nice because I'm removing this right now. And you just untwist it and pull it up. And then there is like a little ridge on here where you line up to this part, slide it down and twist it to tighten it. 
think I'm gonna do the rest of my hair in the medium size one, but I do wanna show what these curls look like. I am a lovey far because my curls lasted a long time. Here is the size of the second medium size barrel, which I feel like this is gonna be cute. I'm gonna switch to the other side and there's a little switch right here that you just move down and it will curl the opposite way a looser style curl, which I love all three. So I'm glad that I got a three in one. <laughs> it's so fun. So since this is like off centered, I'm gonna hit the home button and it goes right back. It makes it so easy. Here's my results with that medium size barrel. I did actually just receive this tanning solution, which this is the Norville brand handheld spray tan solution. The color is dark and it's 24 fluid ounces, which is one liter. It's claiming to be the number one professional. It had good reviews on Amazon and I ordered this at like 10 o'clock this morning. It was like 54 bucks, but it's huge. And I'm hoping I have this for a very long time. So I'm excited to try that out, but I did just go grab Jace from school. So I'm gonna go hang out with them. I'm just gonna do a quick check-in for my makeup, just to show you how long it lasted. I would say most of my face is on and I have allergies, so I was, you know, blowing my nose and my contour is even still kind of on my nose. So that setting spray was definitely a hit. I will say that that Anastasia lipstick might not be my favorite because I do feel like it wore off really fast. So I might just use that one as like a topper to mix with other colors. But other than that, my makeup stayed pretty well. I am liking everything that I got. Yeah, that's what it's looking like after like seven hours. So not bad. It's finally time to try this out. I'm so excited. I will probably have to bring Josh in for backup to spray tan my back. I kind of want to spray him too, so Let's get started. Solution is going in and it looks very dark. I'm just gonna go up to a hundred. in a viewfinder but I am just going over it with a mitt just to make sure I'm not patchy or anything because I'm definitely patchy right there but honestly this color looks so good I'm gonna attempt to do my chest I definitely got heavy handed there. Definitely keep a mitt handy. So far, it's really beautiful for it being my first time. Now we gotta get these legs. <laughs> okay, before and after of the legs, definitely at least two to three shades darker. So you can actually turn the direction that you want the sprayer to go. And you can also adjust the width over here. Let's keep going. I'm gonna use a set 
go for my foot. Okay, I went very light-handed on my foot, but we're just gonna blend it out more. What do you think? Does it look good? Yeah. It does. I'm about to get so tan. <laughs> you want to do your chest first? Sure. Daddy, where are you going to be? I'm going to spray tan. Did you get my armpit? Yeah. Sure. I wasn't going to direct spray your armpit. You did, though. <laughs> did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, let's keep going. This is fun. Yeah. Show them your face to body difference. <laughs> Look at my legs to body difference. <laughs> I went a little heavy handed. Man. We did like two layers of spray down. She said, dude, you want to <laughs> It's been about what, like seven hours on the bottle. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> He's so tan, he can't stop looking at himself. The bottle says. Isn't it like 24 Tan hours? will begin to develop within two to four hours. Avoid getting wet for at least 24 hours. Full tanning results develop within 24 hours. So I think we're fully developed. You're nice and tan. He's even more tan than I am. So yeah. this is two layers of tan. It looks good, right? It looks good. And my legs are tan. Mine too, babe. <laughs> yeah. Looks yeah. good. Who does? It looks good on your skin tone too, and I feel like it looks good on mine. So I'm gonna say this is a 10 out of 10 recommend. 10 out of 10. For sure. Josh sprayed my back, and my back looks really even too. When we were doing it, I said this gives me the confidence to repaint this with his actual sprayer. It's so similar. It's the same thing. I could literally go get our fence stain sprayer. <laughs> Instead of putting fence stain, put body stain <laughs> yeah. in it and babe, I could coach you in like two seconds. You probably do actually have more experience than I do because yeah, you sprayed right. that fence. I'm pretty but good. Even doing it on myself, because I did my legs and my arms all on my own. And I feel like it's nice and even. Obviously, you'll need help with getting your back, but I mean, if your husband is familiar with a paint sprayer, he'll be fine with the oh, tanning. Good. Yeah. He's good. You can find everything in my description box below. I hope you had fun hanging out with us this week. We are going to be getting pop in veneers soon and I'm going to be vlogging that. So if you enjoyed this kind of vlog style video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Bye bye. Doses. <laughs> And I completely forgot to mention, I don't think we got it on camera. You know how we were blending everything out with the tanning mitt? I just went ahead and didn't add any extra product, but I just buffed it into Josh's face and it gave him a nice even tan on his face. I didn't try it on mine. You can clearly see the difference, but I have bronzer and foundation that will match this tan color. So I didn't feel the need to, but yeah, that's how we did his face. <laughs>